Well, last day of 2021, and we've got to talk about Channel 12 again, and a lot of the media just blowing off a major story uh, that happened in Great Neck, and this is all because they view anything that's not the South Shore as a place like this that is uninhabited, and that's the way we're treated. We're treated just like this here uh, in the middle of the island. That's the way we're treated uh, because Channel 12 didn't report on this at all. They didn't report on the fire at all in Great Neck, and that was a pretty bad fire, too. Uh, and none of the mainstream, none of the, not even the New York City TV stations covered it. It was all about the pandemic, uh, and uh, the, and then they had the nerve to cover Gilgo. Suffolk's top police is, is, is vowing to bring, I want to make a commitment. He wants to make this a priority, solving the Gilgo case. That's a priority. What about all the problems in the middle of the county? Go to quorum. Look at all the homeless and degenerates and, and, and criminals you have hanging around there and many other areas in the middle of Suffolk County. I mean, I'm furious over this. And that, of course, gets nearly two minutes because it's on the South Shore and those people on the South Shore are very, very important. And uh, we we just forgotten here. We're just forgotten. We're just completely forgotten. Uh, so Channel 12 did not cover this. Uh, and despite them getting tagged, look at all this. They, they've gotten tagged in all these... And all these, uh, look at all the people here. They, they tagged the media here. The fire department tagged. There it is, News 12 LI, Newsday. Most of, the, most of these outlets could care less. It's unbelievable. This was a bad fire. Look at these pictures here from last night. And then there were some other house fires, too. There was one in Levittown. Uh, a lot of house fires going on, which is quite disturbing, but not completely surprising because at this time of the year, unfortunately, uh, people uh, have their Christmas trees and they start drying out and they put Christmas lights on them and all it takes is a spark and that's how a lot of these fires start unfortunately but let's read the story from Daily Voice about this uh, fire that happened three were hospitalized uh, so three people were hospitalized after an apartment fire broke out overnight on Long Island according to Nassau County Police six priests and officers responded to a call for an apartment building fire Thursday, December 30th, around 9.45 p.m. in Great Neck Plaza at 15 Clint Road. Upon arrival, police with the assistance of the local fire departments were able to safely evacuate the building. Um, the New Hyde Park Fire Department responded to extinguish the flames and was assisted by several other departments, including Roslyn, Port Washington, Albertson, Garden City Park, and Carl Place. Three residents injured, or the, injured during the fire were transported to a local hospital for smoke inhalation, and one of those victims suffered burns. The Red Cross also responded to assist displaced residents. Uh, arson bomb squad detectives and fire marshals were also at the scene. The fire does not appear to be suspicious. So uh, we don't know how many people were displaced. You know, they should have sent a reporter. They should have covered this. This should have been one of the top stories. How horrible during the holidays to go through this. But no, they don't care because it happened in, in the vacuum uh, that is the rest of the island. The North Shore, the middle of the island. No, if it happens there... It's not going to count. It's all about the South Shore. It's all about the South Shore. Uh, so, uh, and I think that's the only thing I really wanted to cover on this year. Uh, but still, I mean, I'm mad that they didn't cover this. And, of course, the governor has decided to extend, if we look at Governor Hochul, she decided to extend the mask mandate. Uh, so she's decided to extend it to February now. So she's just obsessed with the pandemic. Uh, what about the crime? What about the quality of life? She doesn't care. She doesn't care. She's focused on the pandemic, and that's all she cares about uh, because she's out there. I've made it a priority to listen to the disability community. Uh, okay. Then why? Then, then help us find housing in better areas. You know? Because it just feels like she is pretty much telling us this. Price us out. Shut up. We don't care. Now go live in New Jersey. That's the impression I get from her when it comes to these quality of life issues. You know, um, really, it's, it's unbelievable. Like I said, we're just treated like this. We're just treated like this. But, hey, this year's over. We have some new leadership in Nassau County. Bruce Blakeman and... Uh, 
new leadership in New York City, and hopefully we can address these quality of life issues. So the middle of the island does not turn into this because eventually it will. It'll be completely abandoned. These rails you'll see here will be what's left of the main line. <laughs> can you imagine that? It could happen if things keep going the rate they're going, which is kind of stupid because the South Shore is going to deal with constant flooding due to hurricanes. So I guess all of Long Island will be inhabitable then, which is un incredibly stupid and foolish. But we all know they want to push this plan. And here's another uh, little thing here that uh, kind of got me uh, here. I noticed this on the train, and I'm probably just being way too sensitive. Uh, but you see here it says Holiday Heights uh, there on the subway signs. All right, I, I guess to have that as like a subway station for the holidays, they call it Holiday Heights. Uh, but what is Holiday Heights, you may ask? What is Holiday Heights? Well, Holiday Heights is a place in Tom's River, New Jersey. So there you go. This is Holiday Heights right here. So, yeah. There you go. Another part of the plan right there, sneaking in. These little messages just sneaking in, you know. Uh, but, I mean, she's talking about behavioral hell all right she acts like she cares about kids and people with disabilities but let's she likes to talk about it but let's see some action by getting us by doing something about getting us housing in safer areas uh, and improving areas that that are more diverse you know but you know she'll run her mouth about this stuff but she hasn't done anything she still hasn't brought anything about the crime she doesn't care about the crime and it's going to be people of lower incomes and those disabled people who aren't going to be able to get housing in the safe little enclaves that are left. Uh, and uh, that's how she prices us out. That's how it all works. Now, that's how it all works. All right. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't say that she, uh, whatever the case is, it does not say that uh, it's not, she didn't even mention on the site that she extended the mask mandate. But uh, here you go. Uh, extends mask mandate till February First, hasn't done a damn thing to stop the spread. She declares racism, public health emergency. Really? Well, I don't know. She's trying, she's like trying to appeal to people like on both sides. But, you know, if you want to do something about racism, you got to get these criminals off the street so all of us are safe. You know, but anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to bring up this to the fire and... Really don't want to make too long of a rant video. But Channel 12, once again. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to rant about Hulk all that much. It's Channel 12. Uh, they really just, once again, the media just dropped the ball covering the news again. It's so obvious what this network serves. That's why they call Channel 12 South Shore. They don't care about the middle of the island. Look. Look at this. Another story on, on, on real estate. Look, look, at, look at her. This is an example of the people. I swear, like, everyone that works there is a blonde. Look at this. Look at this. Seller's market. Yeah, we're going to price this out. Make, force us to go live in New Jersey, right? She looks like she came straight out of Rockville Center, that woman. She probably lives in Rockville Center. You know, uh, I mean, you know, this is who they serve. You know, Channel 12, you are disgraceful. And I'm going to continue to call you out into the new year as you continue to fail to report on uh, the quality of life issues, the crime, the f a huge fire that displaced... A number of people in Great Neck, you couldn't even cover it. You could, they couldn't even cover it even for 20 seconds. They're not a news station. Stop calling yourself a news station because you don't cover news. You're there for as a lifestyle network for a certain demographic, your own kind, with white hair, blue eyes, and I have white skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. Those are the kind of people you serve. Uh, and it's disgusting. It really is. This is like a, a, a station for wasps, white, Anglo, Saxton, Protestant. Uh, people. That, that's, it's a wasp TV station. All right, now, a wasp is another, that's another term. You know, wasp, but also is a thing that stings you. Well, they are stinging us. <laughs> it hurts, too. It really does. But uh, there you go. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, there you go. Take us into the new year. Let's hope this is not the few. Well, I mean, the pines are beautiful, but we don't want to see the middle of the island turn into uh, a, a being abandoned. And that's what's going to happen if this kind of stuff continues. But I hope that in 2022, we can turn the tide and 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 make the middle of the island uh, what it used to be. The middle of the island used to be the place to be. It used to be the center of life on Long Island. We got to make it that again. Uh, we've got to stop this corruption. These 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 people on the South Shore just continue to get what they want uh, time and time again, and we just can't let that happen. 
Uh, you know, we just can't let that happen. My gosh, this is the county seat, this area, Mineola, Roosevelt Field. How? How is it dying? Uh, it cannot. It cannot. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, leave you at, with a view in front of the Nassau County building right here. Uh, and let's hope that with Bruce Blakeman taking the helm, uh, we will see uh, our county cleaned up. We've got to first start getting these criminals behind bars uh, and, uh, and making Nassau County safe again. I mean, that is a beautiful building right there, all right? You can't, you can't lie. That is a beautiful building. Uh, Suffolk County does not have a building that beautiful. Ocean County does not have a beautiful building that beautiful. So let's, uh, that's it for this video. I've rambled on way too much. Happy New Year, everybody.